हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम वंस अगेन टू कोटक सिक्योरिटीज वीकली फंडामेंटल पॉडकास्ट आई एम योर होस्ट रीनी मेहता द निफ्टी इंडेक्स डिक्लाइन जीरो पॉइंट नाइन परसेंट इन द पास्ट वीक द मार्केट्स वर वीक अमिड ग्लोबल इकोनॉमिक इंडिकेटर्स सजेस्टिंग सॉफ्टनेस इन वेरियस इकोनॉमीज कॉशियस मार्केट पोजिशनिंग अहेड ऑफ फेड चेयर ईच एट जैक्सन होल एंड स्ट्रेंथनिंग ऑफ द यूएस डॉलर Uh, if we see uh, among sectors it services metals and oil oil gas and consumable fuels were the top losers in the week while capital goods sector was the only gainer among major sectors going forward the lal street will focus on the macro trends meanwhile continuous fii buying has been a major contributor to the current rally the market will have its keen eye on this trend as any reversal could result in a temporary hiccup within the nifty index adani ports tcs infosys lost the most while coal india titan and ntpc gained the most in international news mr powell said on friday that the fed is going to remain hawkish much longer than people had anticipated so it does make a certain amount of sense to understand that perhaps market has quite a way to go down moving on month till date fii's that is foreign investors are net buyers to the tune of rupees 18421 crores mainly on account of improvement in corporate and macro fundamentals uh, we expect fpi flows to remain volatile in the emerging markets on account of rising geopolitical risk rising inflation tightening of monetary policy by central banks among other reasons now coming to the top stock picks sis is our pick of the week sis group enterprise is a private security firm in india australia and new zealand a market leader in security cash logistics and facility management sis posted an ebitda margin of 4.5% which was 40 basis points ahead of the estimates the facilities management segment margin of 4.5% was in line with the estimates india security business was up 2.1% quarter on quarter indicating growth revival overall build employee count improved by 19% year on year on the negative side SIS India margins reel under pressure due to the revival of SG&A that is selling general and administrative expenses which are travel and rental related also the net debt is up on a year on year basis and international business revenues declined by uh, 2.5% quarter on quarter if we roll forward to june 24 some of the past uh, some of the parts based uh, are uh, fair value is rupees 550 we retain a buy rating on the stock with a 12 months point of view lastly we hosted mahindra and mahindra management for investor meetings recently uh, we have buy rating on the stock with a target of rupees 1450 some key t- takeaways i would like to share from the meeting one is utility or vehicle portfolio demand remains resilient second ebit margin improvement is expected from uh, second half of fy23 onwards then a uh, focus on consolidating its leadership position in the tractor business then fourth is target to reach 20 to 25% of electric vehicle mix in its utility vehicle portfolio by 2027 and lastly embarking on a growth journey from consolidation phase along with prudent capital management we maintain buy on the stock uh, as it has inexpensive valuations so guys that's all for today see you again next week thank you signing off